Hey, it's Rebecca, and today we're going to learn about dowsing. Now, this is a simplified version. A few days ago, I hosted a class by this man, kind of cute, a rugged Appalachian mountain man, and we had trouble with the sound. So I said that I would uh, share what I know and do some clearings, actual clearings. And one thing I know, I'm good at that. So, um, I'm going to first teach you how to just make a homemade dousing thing. Now, is this the fanciest thing you've ever seen? I got three nuts and hung them on a shoestring. Didn't even use the whole shoestring. So anything that has weight to it uh, and will swing, will twirl, anything will do it. Don't go and spend a bunch of money on a pendulum. It's ridiculous. The power is not in the actual tool. What I use the tool for is I especially if I'm clearing and say it's, well, counterclockwise is clearing for me. Um, I just imagine that this is a tool that is just sending a whirlwind of clearing energy out and then sending a whirlwind of calming, peaceful energy in. So you can make a dousing tool out of anything. I know I love to do dousing with rods. I'm actually better at that. <coughs> uh, cancel, cancel. I'm good at everything. Now, I did, uh, this is my raw ruby from India. And I did some dousing with this when I didn't have my pendulum. So anything that has weight on it on a string. Now this is my dowsing pendulum. Oh, it's happy to see you. So that is the beginning of basic how to make a pendulum if you don't have one. Any questions about that, you can uh, don't use the chat for that. I can't have three things going on. Uh, raise your hand and I'll answer your question. Okay, I don't see any questions yet. Now, here's something you may all know. Some people say that they ask the pendulum, show me yes. See, this is my yes, and show me no, and it'll do something different. The way I did it, I want to be the boss of my pendulum. I mean, this is a pendulum instrument, and so I told it, when it's yes, I want you to go back and forth like that, and when it's no, I want you to go side to side like this. And when you're clearing, I want you to go counterclockwise. And when you're bringing in the good stuff, I want you to go clockwise. Now, how simple is that? Uh, if you want to let it show you what is yes and what is no, that's fine. I say, let me be the boss and please respond to me. And why do I say this? Because it can be the confusing, is that a yes or is that a no? But if you say clearly, I want you to go back and forth when it's a yes and side to side when it's a no and counterclockwise when you're clearing and clockwise when you're clearing, you know, energy and is impressed on matter. Now, uh, one thing that Raymond says, and I agree, Raymond Grace, wonderful dowser, is be friends with your pendulum. Keep your pendulum near you. Sometimes, oh, I wear my pendulum right there. I uh, keep it beside me at the bed. I'm desiring for this pendulum to absorb my energy. Do you like that, baby? Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
So we're working in harmony together. Are there any questions about that? You can either raise your hand or put it in the Q&A. So just taking uh, a poll, let's see, do I have a poll? Let me see if I can work that. Okay, let me just, I'm gonna put some, see if I can put something here. I can, can I make it work? Ah, shoot. It went crazy on me. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Forget it. It's too complicated. Shouldn't try to do it in the middle of a class. I did not know it was going to do that. Um, okay. I seem to have lost a bunch of stuff. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, not a good thing. Okay, uh, I was trying to do a poll and I didn't know it was going to. No worries, we understand. Oh, Michelle, you're so sweet. Okay, so that just shows to go you that, you know, you don't understand everything technical and if you make a boo-boo, so what? So those are... Keeping dowsing simple. I don't know why humans have a tendency to want to complicate things. Now, what I'd like to do is just guide you in a little EFT exercise. If you think you cannot douse, uh, if you have doubts about it, what pe happens to people is they kind of get uh, they're not sure if the answer is yes or no. And here's something I learned from John Diamond, who was like the first guy that invented muscle testing or one of the second guys, which muscle testing is kind of like dousing. Your body gives a response or maybe your angels come and move the thing. We're not sure. Um, he says that when you're dousing, muscle testing, it's important that you finish the question before you start swinging the pendulum or moving the arm or whatever you're doing. Uh, and he gave some demonstrations. He got this guy up there and said, do you love your wife? And the arm would go weak. But what we didn't see is that he started pushing on the arm before he finished the sentence. So when you're dousing, make sure that you finish the sentence or the question. Now, if you get confused, you can ask your pendulum, well, should I formulate that question a different way? It's giving me a yes to show you this is my yes. And so then you, you stop and think about it and you get clear on the way you're formulating the question. So I'm just gonna guide you in a little EFT just to get rid of your doubts. Um, let it be simple and let it be easy and let it be fun. Now, here's what I don't use dousing for, life and death situations for me. Uh, and partly the reason that is, is because I'm very intuitive and I usually know in my gut and I trust my gut more than I trust the pendulum. Now, Raymond Gray says he'll usually go with what the pendulum says. Uh, and whatever feels good to you, that's what you do. Whatever feels good in your heart, that's what you do. Now, I know people that won't make a move without consulting the pendulum or dowsing rods or something, a psychic. And I feel what's important in this day and age is for you to have confidence 
and develop your own intuition as well to go along with doubting. I know when I was doubting for a friend the other day and doing clearing, my intuition was telling me what else to add to the clearing. So having said that, let's do some tapping. It doesn't matter if you don't know tapping, just watch me and say what I say. And let's just clear away any doubts that you have about your ability to become a, a world-class scouser if that's what you desire you have it within you so here let's go here and say even though i have doubts about dousing repeat after me i love and accept myself i have doubts about dousing i love and accept myself I have doubts about dousing. I love and accept myself. Now you're going to tap on the side of, top of your head and just say doubts. Beginning of the eyebrow, doubts. Side of the eye, doubts. Underneath the eye, doubts. Underneath the nose, doubts. Underneath the lip, doubts. Right here on the collarbone where they come together, tap right there and say doubts. Underneath your armpit, doubts, doubts. All right, let's tap in a positive choice. Even though I have doubts, I choose to do it anyway. I can, I can, I trust myself. I do it anyway. I trust myself. 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 I totally rock. I trust myself. Woohoo! All righty. Okay. Now, what are we going to do next? Um, if you have your pendulum there, I'm going, and this isn't in any book. Spirit told me to do this, okay? Um, I took my pendulum and I watched a video of Raymond Grace. He just called me a while ago. And I synchronized my pendulum with his. Why? He's been doing this for years. Why not borrow the benefits? I'm holding this up so you can synchronize your pendulum with mine. What's it going to do for you? Going to give you some of that good energy of Rebecca Marina and good energy of Raymond Grace. The experience of Raymond Grace. He won't matter if you borrow the benefits. He likes people to think in a new way. You can do this. I'm going to try to, it's so excited. Um, but just hold your pendulum up. And oh, now it's going uh, clockwise, my clockwise, to just say, bringing in good energy, bringing in good energy. Yeah, some good energy coming in here. Now, if you didn't get a pendulum or you didn't make a homemade one, you have this on video and you can go back and do it. Okay. Ooh, it's loving doing this with you. Yeah. Okay. Now you got some of that good, good dual energy. All right. So um, we synchronized our pendulums and released some of your doubts. So I wanted to talk to you about, uh, I wanna do an exercise with you first that I got from this book. Um, I did this exercise yesterday and I felt great. And I did it for my daughter without her knowing, she doesn't care she gives me permission to do energy work on her all the time. 
And later on, I said, did you notice anything different about nine o'clock? She said, yeah, man, it's like my brain was clear. I, my vocabulary expanded. I thought of all these things. And this morning when I woke up, I actually didn't feel well at all. And I thought, oh man, I'm gonna go back to bed until class time. But guess what? I did this exercise and I felt great. So I'm gonna teach it to you. I learned it here, folks. Always give credit to where you learned something. All right, so let me see. This is called blood flow to the brain. Now, I'm going to do it for you. Uh, so Raymond said that he had an increasing number of people being affected with blood flow to the brain and the right and left hemisphere is not feeling balanced. So just tune in right now to how alert you feel. It makes me feel more alert. And if you think about it, getting good blood flow throughout all the brain is going to make you feel good all over. So um, he says it causes people to act abnormally. And when you bring balanced blood flow to the brain and balance the right and left hemispheres, um it'll really help you so borrow the benefits i'm going to do it for you and he doesn't use any clearing in this um the pendulum just starts spinning wait it's telling me yes get a little bit of clearing and uh, just think about your brain and i'm setting the intention to bring balanced blood flow to your brain. Balancing the right and left hemispheres of your brain as well, but bringing good blood flow to both hemispheres of your brain. And let's just see how long it's gonna to take to get this work done. Doing it for everyone watching, whether you're doing it now or 10 years from now, Oh, I just felt some electricity going all over me. Ah. Balanced blood flow to the brain, brothers and sisters. Yes, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And just take some deep breaths in and out. And now it's slowing down, giving me a yes, yes. Yes, we have increased the blood flow to your brain. Ooh, is it, am I the only one that feels tingly? Anyway, so, um, you're gonna feel better now. You're gonna feel more alert. Now, uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was my method for clearing spirits. And then I'm gonna talk about Raymond's method for clearing sp spirits or the dousing method. Um, so my method is with prayer and the power of Jesus Christ. I don't care what faith you are or are not, when Jesus Christ was on the earth, he was like the primo exorcist. He commanded the spirits to flee and they did. So um, I see I have a Q and A. Kathleen, I really needed that. Um, I'm glad Kathleen. And do that little exercise every morning or even during the day. Uh, there's so much stress energy in the earth today. It helps to balance the blood flow to your brain. So whenever I feel the presence of not good spirits, and there's different levels of not good spirits. There's uh, poltergeist, there's 
uh, demons. There's just lost spirits that are not really bad, but they're lost and they're mischievous spirits. The Sufis call them the jinn. There's chaos energies. There's all kinds. And today I'm not going to be doing any exorcisms for you. However, I just say a prayer. Now, because I'm intuitive, I can use the, like if I'm looking at someone's energy field, I can see the little, let's call them chaos energies. And I command them to go by the power of Jesus Christ. And I don't command them to go to hell or any of that. I just command them to go by the power of Jesus Christ. Now, um, what Raymond, the way he does it is he, he asks his spirit guides if he can remove them. And then he uses his pendulum and lets it do some clearing. And when he gets finished with the clearing, then letting it go and bringing in the good energy, which is the clockwise direction. And you may be wondering, is it clockwise to me or clockwise to you? I do clockwise to me. I can't keep up with clockwise to you. So that is one method that he uses. Uh, and when it's um, a, a darker energy, I guess you could say, he calls for the spirit doctors on the other side to come and take all the while using the pendulum, but calls for the spirit doctors on the other side to come and take those energies to the light or to some place. See, we can't worry about where they're taking them. We're not wishing them any harm. So what? They're evil. We're, we're not wishing them harm. We're wishing them to get the hell away from us. So he uses his pendulum and a chart to figure out how many there are. Um, usually, because I'm intuitive, I keep bringing that up, um, I know. And <laughs> it's uh, very good to have an outside person when you're uh, like with family members, like one of my family members had some bad spirits and I asked Raymond to do that work because you know what? I love him so much. I wouldn't even let myself believe that there were bad spirits. So that is, I hope more of an explanation about this. And the sound is very good. Now I'm going to ask you if you have any questions for me or um, I said I would do some clearings. So if you do in the, uh, uh, <laughs> Lee says you made the home, homemade pendulum um, because yours is broken. Great. Yeah, just make something homemade. I actually got a shoestring out of one of a, an old tennis shoe to make this. And I went and raided my uh, son-in-law's tool chest. One bolt just didn't quite seem heavy enough. So, um, Let's see, Ingrid has her hand raised. Let's see, really? Let me see, let me see if I can find you. Uh, I'm having trouble getting to my hand raising. Uh, give me a moment. I'm not sure why I can't see the raised hands. Oh, goodness. Um, let me see if I can do it by looking at, you know what, my internet is slow. That's what's wrong. Um, let's see if we can do this a different way. 
Okay, three participants raised a hand. Okay, maybe this is it, let's see. I apologize for having slow internet. Okay, showing no open questions. Let me see if this will work. Okay, since I have four people with the hand raise and it won't show me, let's see, no. Okay, so let's do something different. Um, if you want me to help you clear something, I apologize for technology. Um, then in the Q and A, just put in a in a few words what you want. How's that? Okay, Lee would love help with clearing obstruction to receiving abundance. I'll say hallelujah, everybody wants that. Yeah, okay, all right. So that seems the way we're gonna have to do it considering the internet is slow. So how many people would like help clearing obstruction to abundance? Now the way to do this, according to this book, you know, according to this wonderful man, see, it's already going. Yes, according to that. Um, what we want to do is clear the poverty energy. Clearing obstruction. Everybody take this clearing for yourself. Scrambling the frequencies of poverty, hoarding misunderstanding, holding grudges, all this has to do with abundance, spirit is telling me. Clearing being miserly, clearing fear for your life, clearing fear of not having enough to eat, clearing fear of starvation for more than food, Clearing, I'll never get ahead no matter what I do. Clearing all obstacles to abundance. Clearing family curses around abundance. Just let it go, let it go until it slows down. Okay, now it's giving me a yes. Yes, are we clear? Yes, so now we want to bring in energies of grace, energies of thankfulness, energies of allowing more and more and more and more abundance to flow, bringing in prosperity of every kind, and let gratitude be the thing that starts the flow. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? My pendulum likes that. Amen. Amen. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we have next. Okay. Kathleen likes it. Thank you, Kathleen. Uh, it's very hard to focus. Sylvia, you're up mighty late. Um, I love to procrastinate. Okay. So, <laughs> love to procrastinate. Okay, so I'm going to give you a clearing for that. Okay, so, and then I'll come back. I'll get the rest of you. All right, so we're going to clear the energy. Sylvia, for you, it's real big on the doubt, a lot of self-doubt for you. 
uh, you focus and you try to focus and you wonder if somebody's going to like it or not going to like it. This is for Sylvia, but take it for yourself. We're borrowing the benefits. Um, clearing. I have to do it perfect. And that is what is making you procrastinate, procrastinate fear of criticism. So clearing fear of criticism. Clearing, remembering old times when you were criticized. Also clearing that feeling of being so tired, like you can't take another step. Clearing that. Clearing all unbeneficial energies, not just from Sylvia, from everyone here. Receive this clearing if you want to have your unbeneficial, non-beneficial energies cleared. Clearing, 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 clearing. And we always like to put something good in. Am I getting a yes? Okay, so what good things do we want to put in? We want to put in confidence. Gratitude goes in everything. Putting in a sense of action when it's time for action. Self-love. Self-love. Self-love, self-love, self-love. And you may find yourself becoming actually a little trance-like. I am. <laughs> I better stop looking at this pendulum. Okay. So uh, clear on that. Um, let's see. Pain. Okay. Um, pain in my body. So it's good to know, is it pain all over your body? Um, is it pain in just in one part of your body? Uh, Kathleen, can you be more specific? Okay, while you're uh, asking, uh, someone wants to know clarity on next step in my new life with my grandson. That sounds like a psychic question. Uh, and I need more uh, information than that. It doesn't sound like, well, I could ask uh, to give you some clarity energy. So uh, the opposite of clarity is indecision. So we're going to clear the indecision. Actually, dear, I don't know your name, but your biggest problem is doubting yourself. Not just doubting yourself. You doubt, whoo, it's going crazy. You doubt that other people in your life are being honest with you. Now, this isn't about dousing. This is my psychic intuition. However, it's my pendulum is telling me I'm so right. Uh, you have doubt in your life that people have the best intentions for you. So one of your biggest issues is about doubt. And what you may not know is a lot of this doubt is because in a past lifetime, you betrayed lots of people. And one of the things that you came here in this lifetime for is to heal it. So we're asking forgiveness for those old lifetime issues. We're sending the energy back in time, back in time, asking forgiveness and healing it. Letting it clear, 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 clear. And wait till it's giving me a yes.
Okay, and then it's a simple matter. We want to bring in clarity, self-love, clarity and self-love. While this is, go ahead and bring in clarity and self-love and trust, trusting yourself and trusting other people. Just because people did you wrong a few times doesn't mean that's going to happen the rest of your life. And then Kathleen, I never did see you put it in uh, what pain in, is in your body. I mean, is it in one place? Are you talking all over? Okay, so I'm getting yes here. Uh, so clear. Oh, uh, very cool. Oh, Beatrice. Okay. I didn't know I had, Kathleen, I apologize. I didn't know that there were questions down below. So since I was working with Kathleen, I just want to bring in the energy of healing. Right arm and left side chest area. Bringing in the energy of healing. And Kathleen, there's a part of you that doesn't believe you deserve healing. So we're releasing not deserving of healing. That may be easy. And we're asking the actual cells to relax. Relax. There's so much tension in this area, Kathleen. Consciously relax your right arm and your left side chest. Relax, 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 relax. Okay, thank you. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so Linda, this is really huge. Um, clearing of my upset that most people are allowing themselves to be fear-based, controlled, and manipulated by the COVID narrative. And that's huge, Linda. So, um, I'm going to use my attention, my attention, uh, intuition to just uh, tune in to what could be the major issue behind that for you, Linda. Okay, Linda, um, this is my intuition. You feel helpless because you know that a lot of this is a hoax. A lot is true as well. And Linda, you know that things have been manipulated. The media has manipulated information. And a lot of your upset is because you have such a good heart and you see the people having so much fear and it pains your heart and you want to do something about it and you can't. So, of course, you feel freaking upset. So, releasing your desire to control how other people feel. Now, you might think that sounds harsh and judgmental. It's not at all. Because as you release this and let it go and all of us are, are very upset about this narrative so just clearing our need to control how others think or feel for their own good of course however it's not causing them any grief at all it's causing us grief releasing the need to control 
releasing the need to control how others feel, act, and think. Wishing we could change it all. Feeling helpless. Feeling helpless, knowing the truth and no one will listen. Releasing the frustration about that and just letting it all go into the white light and waiting until we get a yes. Okay, yes. And then we want to program in energies of calm. realizing they all have their journey. Some people came forward in this lifetime just to die in this time period. Not us. And we're just blessing them, 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 blessing them. And in the blessing of them, we bless ourselves. And from my Rebecca Marina heart to everyone watching, I send you blessings of love, light, wonderfulness, blessings, blessings. And let us all know that we're all going to be all right. We can trust our divine as we learn to trust ourselves. So it is. But now I'm getting a yes, yes, yes. Okay, my friends, that is our class for today. I hope that you feel that it's been beneficial to you. This is probably the kind of thing you want to watch over and over. And I do recommend that you get this book. He has two books that are for sale. Uh, I got this on Amazon.com. Raymond Grace. Uh, he has a couple of websites, RaymondGrace.org. Um, RaymondGraceFoundation.org. Uh, and a lot of YouTube videos that you can watch. He's a real professional dowser. I am not a professional dowser. I can douse. You know why? Because I have the confidence that I can. And I synchronized my pendulum with Raymond Grace. Let's see if there's anything urgent. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't see any burning questions left. Thank you all so much. Um, you can share this video. I'll see how it did as far as the internet and send you the replay. Feel free to share it. It's my desire to have everyone having good clearings and good information and do that. Just do your pendulum and ask for blood flow to the brain and to balance both hemispheres of the brain it makes a huge difference. I love you. God bless you. And we'll see you again soon.